Hi everyone, this is Kimberly Munoz and I'm an instructional technologist with Franklin ISD. Today I want to talk to you about how to differentiate in your classroom using a technology tool. How do we do that? So I'm going to solve this problem in three minutes. Today I want to talk to you about a tool called Edmodo.com. Edmodo.com is a really great website for many different things, but differentiation is definitely one of them. So let me log into this website so I can show you those features. The first thing that I want to show you when you log into Edmodo is that it looks a little bit like Facebook. It has this middle section here that looks a lot like newsfeed, and all the things that you see here are things from my community. So you can find other communities to join in this area by clicking show all and joining some of those communities. And you can connect with other teachers from around the world. Now in order to show you how to differentiate, the first thing you need to know is that you create groups in Edmodo. So you just simply click the plus sign and you create a group for your classes, period one, period two, English one, English two, whatever you want to name them. Once you have your classes named like I do over here, I have one called first period, once I get into that class, what I want to do is I want to create some small groups. And within those small groups, then I'm going to select certain students that I can then share different types of materials with. So I'm going to click small group and call this example one, click create, and then I'm going to create another new small group and call that example two. One could be my gifted and talented group, one could be my lower performers, um, so that I can send them different types of assignments to work on. So, or, or some groups I could send audio files to, or other groups I could send documents that they could fill out. It just depends on the type of student you're trying to reach. So what I want to do now is come over here to small groups and you can see that by coming over to this area um, I can click on this first one. I'm now inside of example one and I want to now uh, post things to this group. So I can click inside here, I can add a note, I can add an assignment or a quiz that's totally separate from example two. Now you might be asking, well how do I add students to these classes? Well, in order to add students to example group two, we're going to click on members, and then we'll come up here to the top that says add members. So these are members that are already a part of your period one class. So we're going to click add members to the small group. We're going to come over here and we're going to choose different kids from the class, and you know who they are. And then you're going to click add selected members. Once you choose those, those students will then populate inside of that group, and those are the people that you're targeting in example two. If we go back to example one, same thing, we're going to click on members, go to add members, and choose people that will be in that example one group. Once you've done that, you're now able to differentiate by sending them different types of assignments, quizzing them differently, um, and it just makes it streamlined a whole lot easier. I hope you learned a little bit of something today about differentiating for your class using Edmodo.